Alright guys, it is a fine but muggy evening here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. It is a Friday evening somewhere around August 5th, 2022. So uh, the little dog and I uh, <coughs> were supposed to be at this party full of hippies down the street. Uh, <laughs> And I wasn't going to have a Manga Bay Roundup this Friday, but after about an hour and a half with uh, hanging out with a bunch of hippies, you know, the young, beautiful people uh, I have run uh, screaming back into the Doomosphere, back with my own people. You know, that's old and not so beautiful people, I guess. But uh, anyway. <laughs> Wow, is all I can say uh, to that experience with the granola eaters. But uh, we're going to uh, get back to reality now. But I'm back with my Doomer friends. And as we do every Friday, it is time for my ecological meltdown roundup rant where I go check in with mongabay.com with the uh, boys and girls, uh, Rhett Butler and the boys and girls over there for their weekly cavalcade of catastrophe in the opening bell of August of 2022. And uh, we're going to start, not surprisingly enough, down in Brazil the hot spot on the planet in many ways this is a road about that this is this is an article about the chinese belt and road initiative although at least in this summation of the story you will not know this make no mistake about what this is a story about as roads and railways threaten primates brazil is a global hotspot. A study mapping out the regions of the world where primates face the greatest risk from infrastructure such as roads, railways, power lines, and pipelines has identified Brazil, Thailand, Indonesia, and of course China itself atop the list. Not even sure how many primates other than humans China has. Alright. Of the 512 known primate species, 92 of them, not sure if this includes humans, or 18% are directly affected by roads and railways. Threats come from vehicle impacts. Yes as well as the barrier effect that the infrastructure poses limiting the mobility of tree-dwelling animals. All right, guys. How many miles of new roads and railways do you think are on the drawing board over the next 28 years? If your guess was 15 million 15 million miles, otherwise known as 25 million kilometers of roads and railways, are expected to be built by 2050, of which 90% will be in less industrialized countries, including tropical regions that are home to rich primate diversity. Nearly 500 million acres, otherwise known as 200 million hectares of tropical forest, have already been lost over the past 20 years in regions where primates live with Brazil's Atlantic forest and the Amazon considered high priority areas for mitigation and preservation measures. Good luck 
on that. Uh, okay, as long as we're down there in Brazil, uh, how about this absolutely shocking headline? Violence persists in Amazon region where this uh, activist and journalist were killed a few weeks ago. Armed illegal gold miners on July 15th threatened government rangers near the site where British journalist Don Phillips and Brazilian indigenous expert Bruno Pereira were killed in June. Yes. Uh, they're looking into the possible involvement of criminal organizations. Do you think so? More about that in a few minutes. Uh, Activists say threats against government officials have happened for decades, but the situation has grown dire under President Jair Bozo Nero. Uh, the government's weakening of environmental agencies and Bozo Nero's anti-indigenous rhetoric have created a sense of impunity. Hmm emboldening criminals in the Amazon to retaliate against activists and environmentalists who expose their illicit activities. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, for all you chocolate lovers out there, I'm trying to think of how many varieties of chocolate I have sitting within 50 feet of uh, my tiny house. Delectable but destructive. Tracing chocolate's environmental life cycle. Oh boy. Chocolate, in all its delicious forms, is one of the world's favorite treats. Per capita in the U.S. alone averages around 20 pounds per year. The industry is worth more than 90 billion dollars globally. Ingredients, you know, in your chocolate bar, including the cocoa itself, and don't forget palm oil, which is a 90% of them, and soy flow from producer nations in Africa, Asia, and South America to processors and consumers elsewhere. Everywhere, I mean. But a recent study reveals that large amounts of these commodities are linked to supply chains falling outside sustainability programs and linked to untraced deforestation. Yes. Key producers of these commodities, mostly West African countries for the cocoa, Indonesia for the palm oil, and Brazil, for, at this point anyway, for the soil, have faced extensive deforestation due to agricultural production and will likely face more deforestation in the future as the demand for chocolate increases. The production, transport, and of course the consumption of chocolate all have their own environmental impacts. Yes, do you think so? Okay, what is going on in Ecuador? Well, guys, uh, the, the official story is Ecuador's national system of protected areas now includes a 13,500 acre, otherwise known as 5,500 hectare, Twi Nuka Forest in the country south. Yes, the Shuar indigenous community. 
has been fighting for decades to protect its land from cattle ranchers, loggers, and miners. Yes, and this new national protections mean the land is now safe from exploitation by mining companies, which sometimes find ways to bypass less stringent conservation protections. Yes. Okay, so you know, Manga Bay has its own YouTube channel, and I admit I have not watched this week's their YouTube video, which is titled, How to Cover Oceans and Fisheries. How to cover oceans and fisheries. I guess maybe they're planning to cover the ocean with a, I don't know, maybe a big uh, anti-plastic net or something. I guess I'll have to go watch the YouTube video to find out how to cover an ocean. Well, they're covered with fishing boats and cruise ships and plastic and uh, dead whales. It's pretty easy to cover an ocean. They're doing a damn good job of it. We've been covering the ocean with all of this crap for how many centuries? Okay, anybody who thinks that slavery has ended on this planet, yeah, right. For Brazil's indigenous people, slavery born of colonization still has not ended. Some people are under the misconception that slavery ended in Brazil with the end of the rubber boom. Uh, but let's see, officially since 2004, 1,640 indigenous people have been rescued from slave-like conditions. Uh, and interesting, it, it, the, the biggest criminal was sugar cane harvesting uh, a few years ago, but now, guess the number one industry in Brazil that they're busting people for slave labor, that would be apple pickers. And my, I see my battery is, uh, is going out. Guys, I'm just going to go down this list until my battery runs out in the next five minutes. Uh, you will not believe that big banks fund the heavy machinery used for Amazon deforestation. Yes. Did, can you believe that the demand for heavy machinery like bulldozers, excavators, and tractors is accelerating deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon? Yes, heavy machinery is present, is present at most steps of the process of nearly every activity driving deforestation, including cattle ranching, industrial agriculture, and mining above others. Huh. and banks providing loans for the purchase of the machinery means that almost anyone can acquire one for any purpose. There you go. I uh, better, uh, here's some weird story about how sea life may downsize with ocean warming a new model predicts that marine microbes could shrink by up to 30% in the near future due to climate change, impacting bigger organisms that eat them. Yes, potentially disrupting the food chain from the bottom up. Yep, yep, yep. 
models predict that sea life will get smaller in response to more limited oxygen. Good Lord. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> Water-stressed Bangladesh looks to recharge its fast-depleting aquifers. Yes, water management authorities in Bangladesh are trying to uh, recharge their depleting aquifers. Uh, Bangladesh trying to, uh, yeah, right. I, I, I mean, the United States, we have no idea how to, uh, it, it was saying in here that uh, the aquifers in Bangladesh are getting sucked down like 10 feet per year. But anyway, guys, I am, uh, I am starving. You know, there were these hippies were trying to feed me this rabbit food. And uh, I have one of my factory farmed fellow earthlings with my name on it. I have to go cook up and uh, Sancho Panza needs his Walmart chicken uh, as the little uh, granola contingent down the street has left me starving. And uh, anyway, I, I just, just try to guess what the rest of uh, Manga Bay's Roundup this week sounds like. Uh, no shit, Sherlock. Banks are uh, banks are are the ones funding the purchase of heavy machinery, so we can build 15 million miles of new highways and uh, and railroads to encircle this planet uh, over the next 28 years. Uh, you know, oh God, but it is another summer night for the young, beautiful people to party, and hopefully uh, it will be a fine end of summer night for the old Doomers to party coming up in a few weeks. Hope you can make it to the Doomer meetup in a few weeks. But uh, I've got to go find some dinner that will sustain me. Get out there and sustain yourself while you still can. Bye, guys. Okay, little dog, the collapsing battery saved you this week so you don't have to sit through another Manga Bay roundup. That ought to make you a happy dog. You ready for chicken? Ready for your dinner or what? Let's go get your dinner. Bye, guys.